Hello and welcome to the periodic table of Google Analytics. Today we're going to be talking about your account, your Google Analytics account. Now this element symbol, we call it UA because it's a throwback to Urchin Analytics, which was the company that Google purchased in order to make Google Analytics. So before there was Google Analytics, there was something called Urchin Analytics. Now this video is a beginner level because we're just talking about the basics of setting up your Google Analytics account. And many of you have probably already either set up an account or have an account in place for you. The basics of a Google Analytics account is that you sign up on google.com slash analytics and you use that account to do pretty much all the functions you have within Google Analytics. This includes putting the tracking code on your website to collect data. It includes a lot of different things that you do within Google Analytics. And so this is all in an account level. Now an account is something that's important and I recommend that each business unit that you have, your each business creates their own account for Google Analytics. Your attention yeah. please. We advise customers to pay attention. The reason why this is important is because you don't want to have multiple different businesses that are unrelated to each other under one Google Analytics account. At an account level, you can control who has access to it. You can set up administrator settings. You can do all kinds of features and functionality. So I'm not sure if you noticed during this video, but there might be some trains Your in the background please. present. We apologize for the inconvenience. So my pro tip for accounts is to recognize what your account number is by doing a view source or just looking at the source code of your website and trying to find the UA number, UA dash whatever your number is. That's how you can tell what your account number is. The thing that you want to be aware of with, with accounts is that they may have, you might have had an account that's been around for a long time, might have been collecting data. Just make sure that the account has been collecting data and that you have proper access to it for whatever company you're involved with. An account is really an important thing because you can't tra transfer data between accounts and your account is basically, it contains the history of everything you've done within Google Analytics. So once you have one, it can last you a long time as long as you take care of it. For more on the periodic table of Google Analytics, visit jefflytics.com and take a look at the periodic table or visit our YouTube channel or click on one of the